Boop, boop. Yes guys, how you doing? Darren Bent here for the YouTube channel as always. It's Darren here by The Way Darren Bent. I uh, hope you guys are liking the content as always. Uh, today we're going to talk about a shoe that's a little bit different. Um, I don't tend to talk about Adidas too much. Um, I like Adidas, don't get me wrong. I mean, the Superstar is probably one of my favourite shoes, the Shelto. But listen, today's video is about a really strange, but I think an absolute fire uh, Adidas shoe. So let's show you it. Let's show you the shoe. Adidas box, let's read it. Adifom Superstar. Boom. C white, C black, C black. Uh, UK 10 and a half. Hmm, didn't know that. Let's uh, open it up. Ah, oh, boom, here we go. The Adidas Adifom Superstar. Now, a lot of people look at this shoe and go, absolutely not. When I saw it, pictures of it, something intrigued me. Now, they have releases in two colours, by the way. There's this colour and there's the black. I don't particularly like the black. I think the black looks like a big plimsoll. But this colour here, I think it's unbelievable. Now, when you think of Adidas making this type of foam shoe, you go back to the foam runner, um, which I've got here, actually, funny enough. I can show you now. A Yeezy foam runner, Adidas. Bought one, didn't like it. Don't think it looks good. I don't think, I don't know how. The only time this looks good is when you're coming out the sea. You're putting your towel on, you're about to go up to your hotel room to shower because you're about to go out for dinner because you've always on the beach. That's when the only time I think these in this colour look good. So let me just put these back down here for you. These on the other hand though, I've wore, I've wore these like, I've got a second pair. This is fresh as you can see, the bottom's not touched the pavement. I've got a couple pairs of these, I've wore a pair, actually not to show you that as well, just in case people don't know. There's a battered pair, look at the bottom of that, dirty as anything. Don't look back there. Fresh. When you look at these, I've wore my pair to work. And at first people looked at them and went, ooh. But then the more people started to look at them, people started to go, you know what? I want a pair of them. And I think they are so cool. Little bit of two holes in the, next to the three stripes. Air your feet. I wear socks with these, by the way. Uh, I'm not putting my foot, no barefoot in no shoe. Um, these, though, I think really, I think these are going to be so underrated. I really like these. Um, I think retail about these is about 150 maybe a bit less. I think the black are going for about 70 quid I saw, so that's not that bad. But as I said, I'm not really big on the black. Um, I'm not really big on black shoes, full stop, as you could, as you could probably tell by me. Um, but I think these are brilliant. I honestly think these are such a clever, clever design. Now, when I think of Adidas and I think of uh, superstars, my, my mind takes me back to one band and one band only. Run DMC. Um, they were the guys, the pioneers for this type of shoe. But obviously not the not the Adifoms, but I'm talking about the Adidas superstars. And I really like this shoe. The detail, I like the whole three stripe kind of engraved into the into the toe. Um, as I said, the little details with the little two holes there just so your foot can breathe. And other than that, there's not really too much else that's going on. It's made out of that nice foam material, it's soft. I've wore these, I've worn them for a long time, by the way. I actually wore these, <laughs> funny enough. I wore them all day at work, so I got on the train, I'd say about half 12, got to work, finished at seven, then made my way to the Emirates to watch my team Arsenal get absolutely battered by Manchester City, but we're not gonna talk about that because they beat Aston Villa at the weekend, so boom, back on top. Um, I love this shoe. As I said, I think it's a really popular shoe. I think people will look at this and probably go, hmm, I'm not sure about that. Let me get it so you can have a bit of a closer look. Obviously, tag fresh. I think some people will look at this shoe and go, hmm, I'm not quite sure about it. But I think once you get them in hand, or if you do get a pair, take a chance and go, do you know what? I'm going to listen to Bentley and I'm going to give it a go. I think you'll genuinely like these. I think they are such a cool design and such a cool shoe. Now, as I spoke about earlier, I'm not really, I, don't, I like Adidas, but for whatever reason, there's not been really been too much that have made me go, oh, I need to get them. Other than the Sean Weatherspoons, which I will show you at some point. These are the only Adidas that's come out recently where I've gone, poor, I need to get them. Something just drew me into them. I don't know if it's how, how simple they are, how they look. I think they're a little bit different. I love a superstar, but I think some people will really like these. So if you can get them, which I know you can, they're on StockX. I think they're on Collect. Um, I think they're on Goat. There's various different websites where you can get them, and I'm so glad that I've got two pairs because I can save a pair now of these ones, which are fresh, and get a, well, I've got a, a battered pair down there, which I will wear and wear because they are so comfortable. But you know what? Let me show you them both again because I do think you'll like these. Boom, boom. But listen, we know about when Yeezy was involved. Is he going to either be there? There are rumours that he's gone. We know he's gone, but there's rumours about them having to bring him back. Um, 
it's, it's a bit of a it's a mad one. What he did for Adidas was insane. What he did for Nike at first um, with the Yeezy, I don't think them shoes will, will be beaten. The the Nike Yeezy versions, I thought they were fantastic. Uh, but what he did for Yeezy, I like the originals. That I think the, the Turtle Doves were one. Um, the, the original four colorways that they came with 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 the Yeezys. Um, I can't even remember. I mean, it was that long ago that he released them. I can't remember the names. Turtle Doves are the only ones I can remember because they still go probably for the most money. Um, but then he, he started releasing them, which I can understand. He wants to make money, and that's the reason why he left Nike. It, he wasn't really making the money. It was the resellers getting the shoe, selling them for massive, crazy money. I mean, Red Octobers, I think they're still going for around £15,000. What? £15,000. So that, that, that's why he ended up ultimately leaving Nike because he weren't getting the money that he wanted, which I can get. Even the original black Yeezys, the ones, I think they still go for about it's eight, nine grand. It's, it's, it's absolutely insane. So I can understand why he went to Adidas. They're given full control. He made that many more pairs, which is why they reportedly that he's a billionaire now. Um, but listen, I, I love the Yeezy when they bought it out. My only opinion with them, there are some that I really like. They started releasing too many. That's simply why I don't really wear Yeezy anymore. When it was a little bit more um, exclusive, then I'm like, yeah, I felt I felt quite good about getting the Yeezy. But when they started releasing this colour and that colour and all that, and they changed the material a little bit as well, it became a bit harder, a little bit more rugged. I um I kind of stepped away from my dress a little bit. But yeah, Kanye West obviously with his Yeezy collabs. How can we forget the new creative director of Louis Vuitton, Pharrell Williams with his NMDs? They were unbelievable. Human races as well. A um, little bit uncomfortable on the old feet, and my foot shape doesn't really suit that that um, human races. Uh, shoe, but he made some on that that whole line of shoe for me was was fantastic and for our Williams shout out to him Really really fantastic that he's doing that Louis Vuitton um, So I'm looking forward to seeing that listen. I still like Adidas You know, I mean the Sean Weatherspoons, which I've actually not shown you guys properly on the channel Which I'm gonna have to do that, but he released an Adidas um, I have to show you that and there have been there's been a few um, ZX's at times back in the day. I like them. That was a, a long time ago obviously uh, the Bape superstars Big shoe um, collaboration with Adidas. I like that as well. Um, so there, there are Adidas shoes uh, that I do like. I just preferably, obviously, Jordan is my is one of my favourites. Air Max Nike is my absolute favourite, which is probably why you don't see as many Adidas trainers on this channel as uh, maybe other channels. Again, it, it doesn't. This only works if you guys get involved. So I need you guys to let me know what you think. Um, do you like the shoe? Is it something you're gonna you're gonna be uh, trying to purchase? Am I absolutely lost my mind in showing you guys this shoe? Because it's not usually what I usually show you. Usually I show you five. It'd be Jordan ones. Um, I've shown you a bit of New Balance. You know, I mean, with the Joe Fresh Goods, the Bodega Jordans. I've, sh I've shown you some stuff there. I've shown you Jordan Fours, the Crafts. I've shown you some real heat um, on this. I've shown you Travis's, which are over there. These are different. I've never really come from this type of angle before. But I, I just really liked them and I wanted to share these with you and I want you guys to, in the comments below this video to tell me what you think of this shoe. Is it something you're going to purchase or have I lost my damn mind? But as always, make sure you like the video, make sure you subscribe to the channel, um, hit that notification button. Let's keep growing, let's grow together. But most importantly, as I tell you in every single video, stay safe, peace.